Before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Hey beautiful Scorpio, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Scorpio. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Scorpio. Let me know which cards resonate and how they do because that is how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. And also remember Scorpio, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, I'd really appreciate it if you were to go the extra step to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot when you guys take that extra step to do that for me as well Scorpio remember to use your intuition when it comes to receiving this reading today I'm just a man re uh, reading some tarot cards to you remember so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't I believe my cards are here today just to give you some food for thought perspective for you to go for you to consider but never making the choice in your life excuse me Scorpio because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so my goodness. Uh, so now, Scorpio, let's just get into your weekly reading. I want to see where it is you guys are currently at, Scorpio, how it is you guys are currently feeling in your current space of your journey. Let's get into this. So we have the Knight of Fire, the Knight of Wands. I like this energy. This means to me, Scorpio, you guys are really going forward with the intention on something. I kind of believe this is similar to, I feel like I'm tapping into something that was already in the uh, works for you, Scorpio. I feel like this flame, this passion that's stirring inside of you that uh, was building up for a while and now you guys are in the uh, sense, Scorpio, taking action, I feel. So let me read off this card. It says, follow a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence and thinking things through carefully. So Scorpio, this is definitely this time of where I do feel like you guys have gone through some careful planning with something. Um, definitely this feels a little uh, calculated in where it is that you guys are going. Um, definitely though, a little interruption as well. I am doing actually a giveaway for you guys since for hitting 10,000. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, I'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me or a reading done by me uh, on their own personal reading, whether it's live or recorded. So all the information will be down below. It's a quick, simple process of joining my new Discord and it'll be pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, let's get back into your reading, darling. You guys have you, you guys have your mind on something. There's a target in mind with where it, where it is you guys are going forward with. So I just messed up the shuffle, darling. So let's get into this a little bit more. Scorpio, let's see, let's see what clarifiers we can get from this. Let's see here. What can we know about this Knight of Wands for you, Scorpio? We have the Nine of Swords stepping forward to you. So definitely there is this lingering thought with this here, though, before. Let's get a little more detail. We have the Sun card in the reverse. So it's interesting you guys scorpio are moving forward but you're moving forward kind of with you there's still this sense of anxiety this unsureness with you is this just because you're traveling into like a new journey is this like you know with this passion like you know just like the natural like stage fright perhaps uh scorpio and how you're going to be received you know this is or you know because keep in mind with this sun card scorpio and this could just be the dynamic of being afraid of it not working out. Um, it does definitely feel like that's where like your mind is wavering or where it's just like, okay, I'm going to go all out into this energy here, but you know, you're still, you're going to be going forward, but you're still going to have these lingering thoughts of being like, Ooh, what if it doesn't work out? Right? So this is just, you know, maybe we'll get into this a little bit deeper with the cards, Scorpio. So I'm going to bite my tongue right now, darling. And <laughs> and see if the cards will cover it for me. We have the King of Swords coming in here. So this is going to be your biggest uh, battle this week, uh, Scorpio, is definitely f getting your mental in check. Uh, definitely, you know, staying the course. And I feel like you already identified this just because of um, how this is working out, uh, how these cards are placing themselves. And plus, I know, like, you Scorpios are probably, like, the most... I mean, maybe this is biased as well, darling. Uh, but Scorpio, I always see you associate you guys as being, like, the most self-reflective. 
um, just because you guys really value just like that character development, even though if it's just with yourself and you yourself advancing, Scorpio. So then we have the Three of Wands here in the reverse. Very interesting, Scorpio. So I again, I still see you guys taking this action. You know, maybe I'm giving some of y'all too much credit, Scorpio, right? But I, I'm assuming with this uh, sense here, I'm seeing a Scorpio that's right now in this place of unsureness really experiencing some stage fright but i really do celebrate you scorpio because you guys are still even though you have such an anxiety such a fear of experiencing you know kind of falling flat on your face perhaps right scorpio uh even though you guys are having this fear you are not allowing it to um how would we say you're not allowing it to intimidate you to the point of like no action, right? So uh, let's see how this journey continues on for you this week. We have the Renewal card, Archangel Jerome, number two for numerology, uh, first of all, Scorpio, and then uh, your spirituality, your belief system pertains to this or is open to this, Archangel Jerome is reaching out to you this week, should you be open to working with them, Scorpio. Now this card says, review and evaluate, a favorable assessment of the facts, time to move into a new direction, right? I'm going to pull another card here, but I am just thinking out loud. Uh, Scorpio and where I'm just like okay this makes sense for you the, like this is why you're having this anxiety and why I'm seeing like you still have it taking action because this is like a, I don't want to say it's not normal Scorpio but it's I'm kind of used to seeing people being frozen from taking action because I don't know why this is bothering me <laughs> Anyways, breaking the third wall, is that what it is? <laughs> that white streak was bugging me Scorpio um yeah, it's normally I'm seeing this, this will be like with someone who is like standing at that crossroads knowing they need to take action. But with you, Scorpio, I see you guys knowing, like knowing that you need to take action, already taking action. And it's more so just spooky to you guys just because um, this is like a new thing. You're going out of your element, Scorpio. And I know this is something I suggested to for, for you guys, Scorpio, for your weekly reading before this. Um, so I do celebrate you guys for listening to me in that regard. And you know, but let me not take too much credit, darling, because this is still up to you, Scorpio. This is you being that, uh, extreme self motivator that you are, my beautiful Scorpio. So now we have the Three of Earth pairing this off as well. So this card says, or the Three of Pentacles, uh, this card says the power of creativity, recognition for high quality work, and being a team player, Scorpio. I always like to show the cards themselves and like for this deck in specific, just so you can read it yourself and really be receptive of the messages. Um, you know, I feel like it just has its own uh, extra level to it, Scorpio. So I am getting this sense here, like, because I know even, again, for you, Scorpio, you guys have been having this little power dynamic struggle with where you have to, like, accept that you can't really be too, like, you can't change everything, right? But now there's this sense here, Scorpio, where you have to be okay with being, you know, working on a team, right? Maybe this is, like, the new direction. Now this is, like, you're kind of separating from, like, the lone wolf energy that you were in before where you feel like you didn't need anyone's help. Um, you didn't need any outside source energy interfering with your thoughts and what have you. Now I see you opening up to it a little bit more, Scorpio, right, during this journey. Eight of Swords in the reverse. So yeah, you're getting out of this limiting headspace, this mindset beforehand, uh, Scorpio, whatever inner thoughts, right? And it could just simply be the sense of where uh like your own character right where you're just feared of how you're going to be perceived by others as i kind of said beforehand because i always see the eight of swords and uh normally when it's in the upright as like it's like the self-limiting beliefs i see it as scorpio so when it's inverted like this i like this because you're kind of untangling from this web that you kind of like wrapped around yourself to uh limit yourself further we have the Three of Pentacles coming out again for you. So two cards really signifying teamwork, collaborative energy, Scorpio. Really, this is a time, I would say, in terms of like a career or any type of interest that you're having right now, wherever your new direction is taking you, Scorpio, this week, really try to find people that are part of your tribe. See if there's other people that can relate to you and connect with them more. Um, definitely is showing to me that this is like a process as you kind of untangle this like 
self-entrapment that you developed with yourself, Scorpio, for whatever reason that kind of has kept you closed off from other energies. Now, as you untangle, take this time to experience, to allow yourself more vulnerability in collaborating with others. Uh, Page of Pentacles, this is the card of communication, right? Extending out the pentacle. Really such a beautiful week. I'm going to keep on <laughs> honing in on this, Scorpio of like a sense of like putting yourself out there um definitely communicating you know be more of a people person this week right i know some of my scorpios are going to cringe at this and be like uh Velka, i don't want to do that i don't like people darling i feel like everyone can relate on some level where there's just like oh i don't want to talk to people right but this is you know and when you're going into this new journey scorpio right you kind of have to be aware that you can't just go at well you can darling but you know you have the opportunity to go into this new journey with other people walking along Alongside you. Now it's up to you if you want to include those other energies, but I'm seeing this from a tarot perspective, Scorpio, where it'd be highly beneficial for you to really start opening up to other energies. You know, the trust that you, you know, I'm going to be bold here and kind of speak bluntly, Scorpio. You know, trust other people's perspectives and approach on things, right? I think that's even what I told you guys before in another reading for you guys, Scorpio, where it's just like, I know my Scorpio really has such a high uh, standard or critical view when it comes to intelligence and just, it takes a lot for a Scorpio to respect another individual's perspective on something, especially if that Scorpio uh, is educated in that field. And I really do feel like Scorpio, you could benefit from collaborating with others. Um, yeah. I'm not going to really hone in on that too much longer. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, Scorpio, this is directly the point. If you choose not to sink into this energy any further, then you're kind of making the choice to just make it harder. I'm not saying it's not possible, Scorpio, for you to not continue down this path and still be fruitful, but it is showing to me uh, through the cards from Spirit, uh, uh, Scorpio, in that... I feel like you would be doing yourself a disservice in what it is that you're trying to create if you were to ch continue trying to do this alone. So, but you know, you know what's best for you, darling. So let's see how this is going to pan out for you, Scorpio. Ah, okay. Yeah. Two of fire, two of wands. Let's go now, Scorpio. Come on now, darling. This card says you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Read this. Read this, Scorpio. New partnerships or contracts. Continue moving forward. So this is kind of showing to me, Scorpio. I see you guys engaging in this energy. If you were to engage, you would get those new... Con like, this card itself is just going with this narrative, Scorpio. I feel like you guys get the point, right? So, um, definitely, like, this is a time of collaboration, Scorpio. Just straight up. I don't know what it is that you're focusing on in your life right now. Wherever this new journey that you're stepping into, make it a very very strong point in working with others or just getting involved in your community getting involved in communities that you relate to scorpio this is your time to be a little bit of a social butterfly kind of just suck it up honey because it's just like again like we're all like trust and believe i have a video on my youtube channel scorpio where i talk about how i didn't speak to anybody no words no social media 10 days i didn't speak to a single soul I loved it. It was the happiest ever, Scorpio. So I understand what it's like to not want to talk to people, but you just got to suck it up, darling. If I can do it, then you can do it as well. Um, and definitely, I feel like it's one of those things, once you obviously start immersing yourself in a community, you'll actually be happy with what happens. Ten of Cups, hello, confirms to me, right? Really goes, hones in on this making plans for the long term, really trying to build, create something. Um, not just like a, you know, this is, yeah, <laughs> Scorpio, this is just all about instead of, uh, I think this is just a time, Scorpio, where I kind of feel drawn to tell you guys, think about the people that you are going to surround yourself with 10 years down the road. Um, and really thinking about the energy that you invest in terms of relationships and the things that you want now, think about how it's going to impact you five years down the road, 10 years down the road, right? And I feel like once you approach things from this perspective, then you'll have a much greater appreciation for uh, those that you are able to relate to in your community and be able to connect with them on a deeper level because you can see the potential with them five years down the road. Does that, get, does that make sense, Scorpio? two of wands coming in again for you honing scorpio come on now uh, 
I don't even feel like I need to help make that point again. Seven of Pentacles, this is, yeah, this is where it is you're uprooting uh, your old ways, Scorpio. Normally when it's Seven of Pentacles, you're feeding into the things that you've always normally have done, right? Kind of continuing on. But you going into this, stepping into this new space of collaborative energies, you know, with these new uh, partnerships and all that, I feel like that's where you're uprooting from what it is before because you're stepping into this new sense of yourself of where you're more of a team player. And then we have the four of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you're pulling out from what you used to always do, Scorpio. And you're a whole, whole fully adopting a new approach when it comes to this passion, this thing for you already, Scorpio. But also a whole new approach in terms of... Excuse me, I don't know why I have so much air. It's, it's whenever I start like talking a lot, huh? Um, it feels like even your approach with the relationships and that you have with, in your life, you know, the things that you invest your energies into, your work and all this, you're having a different view. It's so very much so like a hanged man experience, I feel like, Scorpio, um, of where you're just, you find it like, it's like you experience like a, a it's going to be weird, but I do feel like for you Scorpios, you guys have gone through a lot of, um, it's just like, I like to use like imagery, but I'm seeing like, like someone who's like kind of cocooned up as a Scorpio and done like a bunch of shadow work for, you know, weeks, months, you know, I really feel like this has been like this continuous process for a while for you, Scorpio, of evolving actively. Um, and so then now you're kind of breaking free from this cocoon and really feeling out what it's like now that you've, you know, done more shadow work and developed and seeing how things just feel to you now that you're at this deeper level of understanding. Does this make sense, Scorpio, or is this just confusing? I hope it, I hope it makes sense. But um, yeah, Scorpio, now let's get into um, the... Ooh, I'm, just, yeah, I'm just getting such powerful messages for y'all, Scorpio. Don't mind me. Just go as Tyler Ta Tyler's Tara likes to say, just go along with it. All right. Uh, so let's get into your uh, romantic and social relationships this week, right? To Scorpio, when I say social, because this could be your work, family, everything, darling. It doesn't have to always be about love, right? So we have the Four of Pentacles. So this is as I was saying before. What was I saying? As <laughs> Before Scorpio, it feels like your approach to things, you're having a new approach to things, right? You're you're figuring out where it is, like reconfiguring where your investments are. I don't know. Like this card is just, I feel like you're having a better understanding or a better appreciation for the relationships in your life. And you're just appreciating the relationships in your life a lot more, uh, Scorpio. Right. Five of Wands in the reverse. I like to see this card in the reverse if it's going to show up. So definitely if there's been like a little bit of a rift that you've been sensing, Scorpio, that probably has been going on for a while uh, with some connections. I do feel like, again, with this new approach, you're able to just appreciate them for who they are. Um, more and that because of this appreciation you're able to connect with them even deeper again again i just feel like this is more so now you're having a more and i'm not saying that you were immature before scorpio it just feels like a much more refined approach or vision that i'm seeing you guys viewing some type of social dynamic in your life uh justice card in the reverse for you guys coming in here as well with the world card in the reverse so definitely there is definitely some type of friction here that i was sensing uh that i was sensing before scorpio so this is showing to me where like a social dynamic where misunderstandings lack of communication so people just i don't know yeah it does feel like some type of connection that like came when you know very much so like scorpio how would i say got off on the wrong foot that's the phrase i feel like there's something that you got off on the wrong foot for but i don't feel like this is something like an initial in, uh, engagement uh, relationship in your life i feel like this is one of those things where it's like because i do feel like with this world card this is like a, like shows to me like there's been history here and maybe even like some distancing and potentially being like oh is this person going to be in my life anymore um sort of thing uh, and the wheel card coming in the reverse as well. Yeah, you guys definitely are coming out of like and really uh, reconnecting and healing from some type of connection that at one point really wasn't, you were really having your doubts about. So I like to see that. Scorpio, I really do like to see that. Uh, so yeah, now let's get into Scorpio, your financial and your career situation this week. 
We have the <laughs> the world card coming in here. Number three for numerology, Archangel Michael. You already know the spiel, darling. I don't need to go over it again, do I? This card says, a job well done, Scorpio. Joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So this is, I, I love how all your cards are just going so beautifully together from your general portion to your relationship, Scorpio, to now your career. Really affirming to me, as I said before, this sense where, yeah, Scorpio, I feel like your approach to just life and just the relationships and just all facets of your life, you have a different appreciation for, a different view of, a different whatever of, right? So uh, let's get some more clarifiers. We have the King of Wands. You're taking charge, right? In terms of this week for financial, this is very much so continuing taking charge, going down this path that you've been doing, whatever you've been investing your energies into. If And again, I do feel like this is more so speaking to my Scorpios that are like, dipping their toe, casting their rods in many waters, because I am seeing like fishing rods, a bunch of fishing rods now. So I feel like this is more so speaking to my Scorpios that have been casting out their fishing rods in multiple things. And they finally found something, they got a bite on one of them. And now it's like spirit being like really honed in on this. Uh, we have the five of pentacles coming in here. And the Magician card. So yeah, this is more so coming in as my affirming message for my Scorpios. And where it's like, you guys are just definitely still going to be having your anxiety about going through this, about really creating into this avenue, about, you know, whatever that fishing line is for you that I use the analogy of Scorpio. But really hone in on it. This is really, this is your bite, right? I know, and I don't, you already get the point of this, right? Because you're already taking action on it, right? Even though you're having anxiety. This is such an admirable trait. So I'm just gushing about you guys, Scorpio. And I guess I can kind of claim it as well darling since i'm a libra scorpio cast hello but yeah i celebrate y'all scorpio i'm from knight of pentacles yeah this is all like you're journeying into like a new thing uncharted territories as i like to say with the knight uh scorpio so you guys are definitely on the right path continue down this you already know this i know that you guys are a little spooked out right now a little bit overwhelmed probably just with all this new passion but this is the best thing for you is for you to get out of your comfort zone as you are scorpio so i celebrate you for this scorpio i'm so proud of you and yeah as the weekly tarot reading the weekly horoscope that i have for you this week's uh uh, Scorpio. So if you did enjoy this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe, darling. Uh, remember, I have my giveaway going on in my Discord channel. If you'd like to book a personal private reading with me, my website is Simply Velka. It's all in the bottom below, along with my social media, Simply Velka, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, darling, everything. You you name it, I got it, darling. If you have a friend that's into tarot cards as well, Scorpio, be sure to uh, send them my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. I love you so much, though, Scorpio, and I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future.